live dogs and teasers. All right. I wrote, I wrote down way too many potential live dogs. You throw one out uh, to the class and uh, let's see if they made my list. Carolina with the red rocket plus five and a half. Yeah. That's the first one on my list. Oh, of course, of course, nobody, nobody wanted to bet the Raiders in week two against Baltimore because <sighs> Baltimore, Baltimore didn't win week one. They got to the goal line. They got to the edge of the end zone, likely foot out of bounds. They were ready to go for the win. So what did everybody say in week two? Oh, Ravens will bounce back. And they bet that thing to 10 at one point. Ravens were minus 10 against the Raiders, who nobody wanted to bet because the Raiders lost to the Chargers. So this is how the NFL works. It's like it's like the um, – I almost said a bad word there. It's just like a mangled <laughs> – it's it's a mangled transitive property, right? We we always try and put A, B, and C on the same line, and it's never that easy in the NFL. So here's how it works mm-hmm. for me. Nobody wanted to bet the Raiders in week one. Even less people wanted to bet them in week two, but then they beat Baltimore, and now they're a five-and-a-half-point favorite, and, oh, got to bet the Raiders. <laughs> what? You, you're talking about taking nine-and-a-half, ten, but now you got to lay – five the next week five and a half against a carolina team that's going to be playing better with andy dalton i i haven't bet carolina once this year yet i didn't bet them in week one i didn't bet them in week two i'm i'm ready to bet them in week three man i'm ready to take five and a half andy dalton's going to keep that thing super close i wrote down carolina plus 215 on the money line absolutely i went from okay i'm considering vegas in survivor to absolutely not Zero percent chance I'm writing Vegas down and Carolina might win this game. Rally around Dalton, have a professional quarterback. They had to do this because they were about to lose the locker room. They were already losing the locker room. If you see how those players were acting. So we always talk about the rallying around the backup quarterback. They were, the players were so pissed at Bryce Young and They thought they were just stuck with it because he's the number one overall pick. But now they pull the plug after two games. I think team's going to rally around Andy Dalton. It it is. so. uh, And and by the way, the Raiders coming back across country after the high of knocking off the Ravens, which nobody thought was possible for the Raiders. So, yep, Carolina. They make the list, and that's a sizable underdog, better than two to one. All right, I'm looking for ones. Okay, we've been talking about it. Let's just solidify it. Is Jacksonville live at Buffalo? Of course. Yeah. I agree. Plus same how number, can you plus think, 250. How can you think that, like, there's a team that isn't live? It's it's the NFL. Every time right. we have these conversations about this team can't do this or this team can't cover or this team's dead, maybe aside from the Rams, who are dead. <laughs> Watch the Rams cover not to watch the Rams win. I got a text from a Rams fan yesterday. They're gonna win the division. Yeah. (laughs) If they win the division, I'm I'm wiping my Instagram. I will put it in the garbage can, (laughs) light it on fire. Thank you, Kate, from our BetQL social team for putting me on full blast. Although it's my fault. She just kind of regurgitated what I said. Yeah, it was a great clip. And then the Rams will finish 10 and 7 and sneak into the playoffs. But Aside from maybe the Rams, who have no offensive line, and they got to face a Niners team that just lost at Minnesota, that's a tough, yeah. tough spot for the Rams. First home game for the Rams, by the way. But I had a Rams fan text me, they'll be fine. They're making the playoffs. They got McVay. And I'm thinking, oh, please. either either he's really wrong up. or I'm really wrong. It's one of two. He's like wrong. We both can't be right. Um, but when we start saying that Carolina's dead and Carolina can't cover – Look, don't look at the dog, look at the favorite. And you're talking about a Raiders team that should not be laying five and a half to maybe anybody in the NFL. They, they just shouldn't. Mm-hmm. They're not that good. They're not that good. We, maybe we have too much confidence because we've seen so many underdogs just kick ass these first couple of weeks. Uh, Jacksonville, they're, they're probably going to be on my card. I think they're going to be live and people are buying into Buffalo, still not buying that bill's defense. What about the game tomorrow? These bigger point spreads, new England at the jets divisional matchup, six, six and a half 
the money lines plus 230. Anybody buying into the Jets after what they saw in their win at Tennessee where Will Levis gives it up again? So I was texting with one of my buddies in Vegas, and he said eight of every 10 tickets. And again, this is not – I think a lot of bet splits are dumb, but this is a sharp shop. This is a sharp shop, mm-hmm. and and the splits are, are a lot more important to me there than they are at a lot of other places. He says that eight okay. of every 10 bets are on the Jets, and two of every Ooh. big bets are uh, – sorry, eight of every bets are on the Jets. Eight of every 10 big bets are on the Patriots. That makes sense, right? I thought you were going to tell me that the Patriots are a public dog because they've looked good early on in the season. Nope, nope. They're fading Rodgers. I I think the the inability to to, to move around the pocket, he's been very limited in that pocket. Yeah. He's just not – he's not the same guy. I saw a Rodgers highlight reel the other day when he's in Green Bay. Think Remember, we were in Chicago for a long time. You're still in Chicago. Remember all the Aaron Rodgers extended plays – like breaking out of the pocket, throwing on the run, yeah. pivoting, driving off the back foot. How he made a living. Yeah. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So I I I don't know. I mean, I, I you know, it's it's been two games. That's a reality. We don't know, you know, how that Achilles really is until he has to test it because he he's been very risk averse so far. And you were talking about Keon White yesterday and that Patriots defense. You know, their defense looks like it hasn't really skipped a beat, which is crazy to me, because I thought Mm -hmm. there was going to be a big drop off from Belichick to Gerard Mayo. Gerard Mayo has clearly learned a ton in terms of schematics and adjustments. Now, that's not to say that I love New England. I don't think they're a playoff team, but we're talking about getting six and a half points on the road. That's a lot. And Brissett is a lot like Dalton. You know, Brissett gets a lot of flack because he's a journeyman backup. But the guys, you know what, man? And I know a lot of guys cover the Patriots. His teammates love him. His teammates adore him. So that's a guy that that gets you to play. He's not the long-term answer there. But if you're looking for a dog, you need a team that fights. New England's going to fight. I don't know if Carolina's going to fight. I'm going to bet on them fighting. But if they're down 21-0, they're going to quit. I think you, if you're looking to bet a dog, you need a dog that's going to fight. In pro and college mm-hmm. football, I think New I, England New England is going to fight, man. That team, they love their coach and they love their quarterback. And I think going to work for New England last year and the year before was like going to prison or going to the morgue. 